so that those informations are pushed into your long term memory so that like has a dual effect on memorization so utilize pictures whenever you can i'm going to tell you few memorization hacks and how i remembered everything that i studied in medical college and we are starting right now Hello everyone my name is Dr Tara Khan welcome to my YouTube channel where i share with you clinic and exam related productivity tips and strategies if this is your first time here start now by subscribing and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss anything when it comes to doing well in medical school memorization is a large percentage of how you get that grade i found it surprisingly easy to memorize certain topics certain subjects but found it is just as easy to forget those after a week and then later on i had to put in a lot more work to get those info get those topics into my long term memory just before the exam season came but i am not making or uploading this video because i am a brilliant or intelligent student or whatever that means to you but that is not important what is important is i want to share few tips few memorization tips that i used in medical school that helped me a lot and will probably help you too and if you're not a medical student then don't worry these tips can definitely be changed a little to best fit whatever degree you are pursuing so first things first you cannot cannot try to memorize something without having a clear understanding of the concept for example in physiology we are taught about the 12 cranial nerves what is the name of each nerve where is it located what are the functions what happens what are the consequences of the damage to the nerve so we all have a very nice table or a chart in our textbook and that is what we are even taught in the classrooms so after the lecture when you go back to your room and when you try to memorize this you might be able to memorize it but you will find that after few days or after few weeks you will definitely find these nerves very difficult to recall because that time when you had attended the lectures and when you had gone through the charts in your textbooks you had memorized it but those were stored in your short term memory hence you are finding it difficult to recall but if somehow you are able to retain those in your long term memory then you would never forget so my first tip is to use image and diagrams now if you have studied anatomy this is probably the first thing that we are taught because when we try to recall informations later on we are more likely to recall an image rather than a bunch of text so utilize pictures whenever you can so when i used to study carpal bones and tarsal bones during my early days i used to hand draw them myself and don't worry your hand drawn images don't have to be great they just have to be functional because just you need to be able to understand those diagrams like in cvs we have to study all the chambers of the heart and what are the structures connected to it like where is the pulmonary artery what is the pulmonary where is the uh, presence of pulmonary vein where is aorta and all these things so i used to draw a square and within the square i used to draw four chambers so that was a functional diagram of the heart that i had followed during my entire medical college for heart my next tip is to use lots of mnemonics and i'm sure that this is something we all use regardless of what degree what college what career we are pursuing and i found them especially useful for anatomy on things on topics that i just couldn't memorize and also in cases of things where i just want to recall fast like there is a mnemonic for carpal bones which is she looks too pretty try to catch her and i'm sure that there are other versions of this mnemonic as well and another mnemonic in anatomy that i could recall is tum tum means tibia and ulna are medial bones so you can always use these kind of mnemonics to memorize things to memorize topics especially to memorize difficult topics faster and uh, i remember in my college days we used to create mnemonics anatomy mein koi bahut difficult topic hai ya aisa flow chart hai which is getting very difficult to memorize hum log two three friends the and we used to sit on that topic and we used to create mnemonics and then every one used to remember on that mnemonic so is tarah se you can create your own mnemonics और वेबसाइट्स है बहुत सारे इंस्टाग्राम पेजेस हैं निमोनिक्स से भरे हुए हैं मेडिकल निमोनिक्स जस्ट टाइप मेडिकल निमोनिक्स ऑन गूगल यू विल फाइंड लॉट्स ऑफ वेबसाइट्स लॉट्स ऑफ इंस्टाग्राम पेजेस फेसबुक पेजेस फिल्ड विद निमोनिक्स माय नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज राइटिंग एंड रीराइटिंग व्हिच मे सीम रिडंडेंट फॉर सम बट दैट इज व्हाट हेल्प मी एंड प्रोबेबली इज गोना हेल्प यू टू बिकॉज़ जस्ट द एक्ट ऑफ रीराइटिंग इंफॉर्मेशन रीवायर्स योर ब्रेन एंड बिल्ड्स कनेक्शन विद दैट टॉपिक सो दैट दोस इंफॉर्मेशंस आर पुश्ड इनटू योर लॉन्ग टर्म मेमोरी सो व्हाट यू कैन डू इज से यू आर टॉट अ टॉपिक इन योर कॉलेज समडे 
So when you come back, you make a note of that topic. You refer to different textbooks because see, everything in your textbook is not appropriate. First thing, it is not complete. Second thing, and third, it is not necessary. It is not required. So whatever is required for your exam, you make a note of that topic in your own copy so that later on, before your exam, when you have to study that topic, you don't have to hunt textbooks and you don't have to go from books to books finding that this thing is going to be read this topic is going to be portion from here and this clinical feature is written in this book so I have to study from that book you will be saved from all this hassle there is just one place where you have written everything on that topic and that is the best because you have already done that part of your labor so the material that you have made on that topic that is the only thing that you have to study before exam and later on when the exam is done you can either keep these things because these things will come handy when you are preparing for your post graduation exams or you can make an ebook of this and sell on Amazon. Many students may think that when you are rewriting, when you are making this note, you are wasting your time. But trust me, this will pay off later in life. The next hack is explaining concepts to someone. And this is the number one reason why if our friend has a topic, so we are able to understand the concept better. We are able to remember that topic better. Because as compared to a teacher, our friend is under the same scenario as we are. So he or she will be able to explain the topic in much simpler term. Like I have studied so many topics this way. Like in Materia Medica, medicines ko remember karna, uh, was a pretty tough job. So what I used to do, is uh, ek friend tha mera college mein, batchmate tha. So, hum log is tarah se decide kar lete the that this drug you are gonna teach me and this drug I am gonna teach you. I don't remember how many drugs we have completed this way before exam. Because when we used to teach each other, I always noticed ke padhane ke liye na, we used to put in a lot of effort. Like, hum log mnemonics banate the and we used to make up some funny stories. We used to make up some linkage to any photo, to any incident, so that not only I remember, but I also make my friend remember. And he also used to put in the same amount of effort. So when you are asked to teach someone something, agle ko wo topic samaj aaye ya na aaye ya uska fayda ho ya na ho, sabse zyada fayda apna hota hai. Because you become a master of that topic. So is tarah se agar ek group bana lo, friends ka, ke you teach me this topic, I'll teach you this topic, then a lot of memorization can be done very easily. And agar is tarah ka koi group nahi ban sak raha hai, then still it is very simple. Kisi junior ko pakdo, aur usko pakad ke padha do. And after few days, ask questions from him. Not to judge whether he had understood the topic or not. To judge whether you were able to teach him properly or not. Another very small tip of this point is to talk loudly to yourself. So whenever you are studying, when you, whenever you are trying to memorize any topic, you talk loudly to yourself. Zor zor se padho. Because when you talk loudly, when you speak loudly, you also hear yourself. So that like has a dual effect on memorization. Lastly, and I think the most important tip is to use the space repetition or active recall method. I have already made this video on this particular topic. You can check this video out. The link of the video is given in the description. So these were my memorization tips, my memorization hacks that I used in my medical college days and probably it is gonna help you too. So let me know which of these tips you have already been using in your studies and which of this tip you found most useful. Give this video a like, share this video with someone who you think might get help and I'll see you in the next video.